Hi, this is Jerry again and welcome to our tutorial. In today's lessons, we're going to discuss how to name our variables. So the objective of this tutorial is to assign variable or identify our name correctly. Follow proper naming conventions and utilize the camelized form. If we are going to name two word or more variable name, know the different data types and declare variable or identifiers uh, data types. Okay, so <clears throat> the first question is what is identifier or variable? So when we say identifier or variable, it is a container that holds value for you. Good news is this is programmer defined. What are the rules in naming our variables or identifiers? We should start either by letters with emphasis not on numbers or special symbols such as underscore or dollar sign. So examples of these are name, dollar money, underscore counter, interest to pay, amount 3. We do not allow space between a two word or more variable name. So on our examples, so if you're going to name interest rate, okay, there should be no space in between. You cannot start with a number, okay? You could either start with a dollar sign or an underscore. So on our example, dollar to be paid or underscore to be paid. We do not use Java reserve words. Examples of Reserve words that you will not use are um, int, double, system, class, public, main. It will create a compiler error if you use this as variable names. We should also follow naming conventions, especially on this tutorial. Okay, we use camelized form. So an example of this is uh, the second uh, word, okay, is uh, camelized or capitalized. So it improves readability as we read our program. Remember, spaces are not allowed in our variable names. We start with a small letter for variable identifier name. So if you will observe, all variable names on our examples are in small letters. We write in big letter for program or class name. So all of our programs starts with capital letter. What is data type? So when we talk about data type, it defines what type or size does an identifier or variable has. So when we're defining our variable name, we need to set what, how, what is the type or the size will it hold uh, for this particular container. Examples of variables with its data type declarations. For example, you have age. Okay. It, con it should contain whole numbers because uh, age are expressed in whole numbers. We will declare it as int space age. But variables that will hold fractional values such as weight, height, among other things, we could declare it as float, uh, weight, or double height. Okay, 
float means uh, single precision double means double precision they can contain uh, numbers with decimal values we will also use a special uh, class or program data type on this tutorial which is a string so for example your variable is not designed to uh, ho de designed to uh, for for computational purposes okay and it will hold normally messages or combination of text and numbers we will declare our variable name with a string data type so example of this are string name product and message so on your screen you would see the different uh, examples of data type to be used and this would be the description so we will discuss this as we uh, go on with our tutorial 